What's up guys? I'm Tracy Wong. I'm a filmmaker and photographer here in Dallas. And uh, today I'm going to talk about how to create a Gary V Instagram video that I'm sure that a lot of you guys have seen on Final Cut Pro 10. I'm sure a lot of you guys are also using Premiere Pro or maybe like a different software. And I'm gonna, probably gonna do a different tutorial on how to use those softwares um, to create the style video. But I was searching on YouTube and uh, on Google just for ways to do a couple of different things um, to make these videos on Final Cut and I couldn't really find anything. So I think this will really help you. So first one is basically how to change the dimensions. Uh, secondly, how to add the progress bar, which there's a couple of really good tutorials about how to do that. The third one is how to add captions or subtitles, I could find almost nothing online about how to do that. So this is going to be really helpful because I'm breaking it down to make it simple. And then the fourth one is just how to add headlines. So you may be wondering, why do I need to even do these types of videos? Well, you know, there's a lot of studies that have been shown that people on Facebook or Instagram or on Twitter will a lot of times will watch a video with no audio at all. So they're not going to listen to what the video is saying if there's a person talking or they're not going to listen to the music, they're just going to watch the actual video. And so if you have captions, subtitles um, in the video, it's going to make it a lot easier for people to engage with your content. And uh, another reason why I really like using these videos is for a lot of people that I work with, right? Um, they have already people that have gone on stage, they may be doing a lot of Facebook lives and you know, they've got a ton of video content, but it's just sitting there in hard drives, either on Facebook, you know, on Facebook or on YouTube, and they're not doing anything with that content. And so it's basically just dead um, and taking up space. And so you can actually take those videos and revive them and turn them into these 60 second meme style Gary V Instagram videos. And they work superbly for, um, you know, just increasing the content that you're putting out on social media. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro and I will show you how to create one of these meme style videos. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to file, new. I'm gonna open up a new library and uh, I'm just gonna call this like a meme video test or let's call it an IG meme video, video test. Okay, let's save. It's gonna automatically give us our date in the event. I'm gonna open up a project and just call this a IG meme video test. Next part that is very important is when you go to the videos here, you want to go in and select custom. This will going to allow you to change the dimensions. If you are doing a one by one video, you want to do 1080 by 1080 for a four by five, which we are doing today. We are going to do a 864 by 1080. Okay. And then we're going to leave the frame rate as the default because um, that 23.98 or 24 frames per second is what I normally shoot at and press OK. That's automatically going to change it and that is pretty cool. Next, let's go ahead and input, uh, import some, some videos. So I've got two I'm going to import and I'll show you what both of these look like. Okay. Um, and this is a great way to kind of repurpose your content. So the first one is a Facebook Live that I did. Okay, and if I drop this into the timeline, you'll automatically notice that it fills up, you know, a good portion of the video, but there's um, black bars on the left and the right. Okay, so if you want to resize that, it's very easy to resize it. You can just go here to crop. Um, so that way you change the size of the video or, um, you know, you can go to transform and then kind of move this around. I'm not going to do that today. In fact, I've already got a video that I have trimmed down to about 55 seconds and already fits um, the four by five. This was a presentation that I gave uh, a little over a year ago at a mastermind here in Dallas. And you'll notice that when I drop it into the timeline, it automatically goes into the center. So that gives us the black bars on the top and the bottom, which is really, really nice because then we can add in the headlines and also the subtitles. 
First thing we are going to do is um, actually add in the progress bar. And this is super easy to do. It looks a lot harder than um, it actually is. And the way to do that is we go to this section right here. We're going to go to generators and then go to solid. And then we're going to go ahead and pull in a custom a custom generator. And the default for Final Cut Pro is black. I'm going to go ahead and change it to red. And then I'm going to go ahead and crop. And I'm going to make sure I can trim that down to the right size. I'm going to. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to trim that. I'm going to have it at the bottom, just like how Gary V had, um, has a lot of his at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to press done. So there we go. We've got it at the bottom. We're going to drag this all the way. So it meets at the end. And I just want to make sure that it's accurate. There we go. So when this ends. It's a video. Okay, great. So it goes back to the beginning. Okay, um, next thing is to make it go from left to right, uh, we are going to go ahead and select transform. Okay, we're going to transform this. I'm going to pull this to the beginning. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that again. And we're going to move this bar. Um, you'll notice that when you transform it, like when you um, pull it in, it's going to um, do the opposite side as well. So uh, because of that, I'm just going to move this progress bar to the left and start at the middle. So when I drag it to the right, it also drags it to the left. Um, and that way it looks right. So once I have it positioned where I want it to start, I'm going to go up here and um, add a new keyframe at the playhead. Okay. And then I'm going to come here, drag this all the way to the end, probably about the last frame. Come back here and then move it. And then press done. And as simple as that. It's a video lead funnel. And there's really three, you can get a video marketing M and DM with uh, Annie. Okay, so you know this works. It's a video. Perfect, so there we go. We've got the progress bar. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in captions. And there are two main websites that um, I use. The first one is um, a website called rev.com. It's a dollar a minute and it is very, very good because a physical person will go and type it out. And uh, once you upload the video and you, um, you know, submit it and pay for it, um, it usually takes, you know, anywhere from five minutes to half an hour to get it back. Okay, it looks like this and um, it is very accurate. If you download it, however, it only allows three options, okay? Uh, Microsoft Word, PDF, and plain text. And uh, we still have to convert it to SRT. So I have another service that I use, which I find a little bit faster, and that is called Tammy.com. Okay, so Tammy.com is a uh, another transcription service, 10 cents per minute. And it's not as accurate because it uses a software, not a person to transcribe it. Um, but I think it still works really well. And so um, it looks like this, so pretty similar, not as accurate, but sometimes you just have to go through and uh, edit it a little bit. But I think we're pretty good here. So then when you download it, okay, we've got the same options on top, but you also have .srt and that's what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and download and I'll show you how to do the next step. So one thing to note is that Final Cut Pro um, will not accept SRT files into um, the project or the timeline. Um, Premiere Pro does, and it's way easier on Premiere Pro to work with SRT files. Final Cut Pro only accepts iTunes timed text, ITT, or XML, which they use a lot in TV broadcast um, for subtitles. And so um, I find XML way easy to use, and so I will show you the way that I do it. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to go ahead and um, add in um, just a basic title, and I'm going to put this and uh, basically customize it to how I want it to look in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to add it here. So if it does need to split off in two lines, then I can easily do that. And then I'm going to change this to about 35. I think 35 works pretty well. And um, I think I think we're pretty good there, okay? So I'm doing 
these captions first. Um, I'm not doing um, I'm not doing the headline first because if you do the headline first, sometimes it can kind of mess up the subtitles, and I will show you why. So um, now I'm going to export this as an XML, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and it's done. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, okay? And there is a app that I use, and it is called SRT. Um, it's called Final SRT. Okay, and this, this is what it looks like. It looks like I already had it open. It's $10. You pay once. You use it forever. It's great. It's very simple. And this is as easy as dropping the SRT file on the left and then putting it in the XML file on the right. Okay, so I got the SRT file from Timmy.com. I'm going to go ahead and drag it here, and then put the other side here, and then I'm going to export. And press save, and then I'm going to open up the library that I was working on. Okay, um, it's going to give us a couple options whether we want to replace or keep. I'm going to go ahead and replace. And once it replaced, you're going to open up that project file, and there we go. It's a video lead funnel. And there's really three parts to it, okay? We haven't even been using a website to do this. We've just been using. Okay, so uh, one thing you will notice with this, and this is kind of the reason why I think Premiere is a lot better at subtitles than Final Cut, is that some of the timing is just a little off. But okay, we haven't even been using a website to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this. Um, until um, it actually makes sense. Okay, great. So I just went through and quickly edited it. And I uh, just made sure that it looked okay, and it does. So one thing I do notice is that um, I would like the font size to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of this and then just change it to font size 40. And that should do that for all of it, okay? And then obviously you can always change the line spacing as well. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so if you don't like the black background like I have here and you want it to look a little bit more like Gary V's, let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go over back to generators and this time we're going to choose a white. We're going to go ahead and put that into the timeline and you'll notice that it turns white automatically. Um, one of the things that uh, you may want to do is um, Final Cut Pro will automatically choose smoky, so you might want to just turn it into bright white, and then we will have bright white. But um, you'll also notice that now we can't see the subtitle, so we're going to go ahead and select the entire thing, and let's see. All right, let's go ahead and select the entire thing here, and then we're going to come down um, to where it says Face Show, and instead of it being white, we're going to go ahead and turn it into black. There you go. So now it looks more like Gary Vee's video. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this all the way across so that way it covers the entire video. And just to make sure, I'm just going to go ahead and extend it. Um, and then just make sure that this ends um, exactly where we want it to end. It's a video. Perfect. Okay. So that looks good. And now the last part is the headline. And the way to do the headline is... Just like how we did the subtitles, we're going to go to Titles, and I'm going to select another basic one. Okay, and once again, I'm going to make sure that this kind of follows. Okay, so it ends there, and it's lined up. Okay, and I'm going to press Control minus or Control plus to um, expand or you know, uh, condense the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and select this and it's white. So we need to go ahead and change that. We're going to go to show and then select black. 
perfect, okay? Um, and then let's go ahead and label this video, okay? Um, I am gonna call this video easily, easily attract new clients, okay? Uh, with using a video lead funnel. All right, nice. So nice and easy. Let me go ahead and uh, put this up. And I don't quite love the spacing. I'd like it to be a little bit more. So let me go ahead and change the line spacing so it looks more like this. And uh, yeah, there we have it. If you don't like this um, particular font, you can always change it here. Um, but I'm just going to leave it there right now. And then I'm going to change it to regular light, bold, oblique. Let me just leave it like this. Um, and uh, so that looks very much like Gary V's. You can also put um, like your Instagram handle like he has um, on his. And uh, But um, for now, just to show you the basics, this is how you do it. So if you guys enjoyed that tutorial, make sure you give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel and also helps me to get this information out to people who are wanting to do a lot of the stuff that I'm doing with branding. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you in the next video.